Hello guys, so today I'm going to be finally doing my review on the Crew RTX 430 3QR. Uh, this is a 3 bay raid tower and it features USB 3. So today I'll kind of be going through all the details and after a couple months of me actually using it, what I think and what I would recommend for you guys to do. So going around the unit, you can kind of see out here, this is with it off. The front of the unit has a screen here a number pad and then three indicator um, LEDs. We'll kind of, I'll go through this later. The front of it, you can see how the drive bays, there's one, two, three, four. They have indicator LEDs over here. And then to replace the drive, you can just pull it out and it goes like that. And the ones I got were two terabyte Seagate desktop hard drives. Um, crew sent those over with the unit. So they just kind of go in and just go click and it plops in. And then it's never really gonna come out unless you actually push the latch top of the unit here as you can see kind of has a recessed handle that you can uh, pick it up and hold it with which is actually really nice because um, this unit with the bays enclosed gets a little bit heavy um, so it's kind of nice how it has the handle here coming around the back of the unit you can see how there's all the IO here the power port there's an eSATA USB 3 FireWare 800 and then I switch to switch it from USB 2 to USB 3 so you can plug in a USB 2 here just got to switch it over um, it has a cable hold here that I still haven't used, and then two fans. The fans on the back, they kick in, I think, when it goes over 30 degrees Celsius, the drives, and they're actually quite noisy, um, but if you're not really using the drives, um, they'll actually stay off until the um, drives get over a certain degree. I would have rather see something that would be more for progressive curve, um, that has some really quiet fans, maybe even just a larger one here. But, I mean, the drives stay cold, I live in Hawaii, so, they, uh, we never really have any issues of it getting super hot here, but it's always somewhere around 75, 80 degrees here. But I've never really had an issue with the drives overheating. And to turn on the unit, there's a power switch right here. Um, it takes a standard plug, which is actually really nice. So if you, you don't need it, it's, a, it's not a proprietary plug. Um, you just plug it in and then you just switch it on and off right here. So to turn on the system, I'll reach around back and turn on the power switch and you'll kind of see the boot up process. The lights will come on, you'll hear a beep, and then it'll say the four bay raid is powering up. Um, so you'll see the power system and raid icons are kind of blinking, it's just letting you know that everything's going. The drivers will sequentially turn on here, so one, two, three, four. Once they're all up and running, then it should pop up saying, hey, the uh, it's in raid 10, status normal, and then all the lights will turn green. If they turn a different color, then you know something isn't perfectly correct with the system. You can see here how there's a hard drive indicator LEDs. I have it in RAID 10 right now, so it's a RAID 0 and a RAID 0 stripe. Screen up on the top is actually kind of nice. So you can see change RAID mode, you click enter. I don't want to do that because I actually have data on here that's not really backed up all the way. Um, you can see your system temp, fan, okay. You can see your disc temps, 35, 34, 35, 35. So it goes through 1, 2, 3, and 4. You can see disc three, disc four, okay. Disc one and two, okay. Uh, then I'll go back, mode, rate tens, that is normal. So it's a very basic unit, but it just does the job well. Um, connecting to the computer, it just plugs into a USB three into my MacBook. Um, USB three is plenty fast for kind of what I need for now. Um, we'll see in the future if I end up getting a um, USB 3.1 system, but Crew actually has another option. That is their ToughTech Duo C, and it has a USB C connector, which I will review right here. So click this over here and you'll see the Tough Tech Duo C. Another thing about the 3QR is that Crew has an option to get a Pelican 1560 case, which essentially is a Pelican case for the drive that you can enclose it in and travel with it on an airplane. So when I actually brought this, because I got it delivered to my house in California and I brought it here to Hawaii, I took the drives out, put the drives into my Pelican case and then checked this on to the airline luggage case with the original box. It comes with good padding on the box, so you can reuse that to ship it if you want. If you want a more secure solution, Crew has a Pelican case that is specifically designed for the 433QR, and it'll fit it perfectly. Um, I don't have one here, but they have it on the website, and you can buy it online, and it'll uh, make it so that you can have it on most carry-on luggages if you want to bring your, your backup server with you. So the kind of drives that the 
3QR accepts is any three and a half inch SATA drives. So that's just your normal hard drives. They have a three year limited warranty with the unit. So that's also good to hear that they'll stand behind what they do. It's very tough built and um, I'm sure it'll last for as long as I need it. I think the only thing that won't last is USB 3 will probably become obsolete in five years. So, but I'm guessing crew will have another product out in two years to cover exactly that. Another thing is that the insertion rating for the drives is actually rated at 50,000 insertions. So you can put it in and out 50,000 times. Um, I have no idea why you would need to do that, but if you're hot swapping drives in and out every other day or whatever, you can do that. Crew also has free tech support as well. Um, they do it by phone or email. They're really good. They'll get back to you and they'll help you exactly with what you need. So I don't know if you can hear this. I'll be really quiet, but you can hear the fan kicking on. as well as a plane in the background. But it's not a very loud fan. I mean, it's not any louder than any computer fan you're normally used to, but it's just something to know. It's not passively cooled, which is good, so that it'll keep your hard drives cool, which ends up making them last longer. So now we're gonna kind of go to the laptop and I'll show you the specs and what actual speeds you'll be looking at for this unit. So the first test I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this Banner 1 PSP file, which is a, a graphic design file from Photoshop, um, over to the Server 1 file um, directory, which is the RTX 433QR. Um, I'm going to time it on my phone and show you exactly how long it took for it to transfer. So ready, three, two, one. and done so it took nine seconds and 38 milliseconds so i'll do the math and i'll let you know exactly how quick it was so to do the math i got 231 megabytes per second so the next thing that i want to try and do is a kind of synthetic bench um, which would be the black magic disk speed test so I'm gonna make sure that we do a five gigabyte. We're gonna do the target drive down to the server one. And I'm just gonna click start. So overall, those who are looking for a drive enclosure that has RAID, that's all mechanical, and that just kind of just works. Um, I think that the Crew RTX 433QR is a decent option. It should definitely be on your list on what you want. Um, yes, there are other options out there that are a little bit cheaper and that offer a relatively same performance per dollar. But you kind of have to be the one to decide whether or not that's worth it for you. But overall, I think 230 megabits write, 240 megabits read, that is, or megabytes read, that's plenty fast for um, just doing your daily transfers of stuff. It's a lot faster than my previous hard drives I've ever had. So. If you have a USB 2 system and you want to upgrade, this would be a mind-blowing difference because it was for me. So anyway, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, you know what to do. Um, if you want to see more kind of tech, travel, adventure videos, subscribe. I have a lot of new content coming out. So thank you. Have a good day.